noted on the lights. We'll pass, noted, we'll pass on the feedback. Yep. All right, we're just about to get started. Are you guys ready? Yes, okay, great. Hello everyone, welcome to the press conference. We are joined by Sentinels who are coming off of their victory against Team Heretics. We'll start with a pre-submitted question first. This question goes to Zelsis from Sports Key to Esports. Uh, you have always been the vibes player for the team. How was it for you to bring back the team's mental after that one five star on Vine that eventually led to the series win? Um, I mean, it's just always like reminding us like we can win the game. I mean, our team like has been blessed like early on with our roster of like coming back from like really big deficits. So honestly, I think at least for me personally, I feel like even when we're down, like we're not losing. It feels like we're losing, obviously, but, you know, it never feels like we're like losing. Um, and I think that's like a really good thing for a team to have because we can always come back like we always have strong mental. But the biggest thing is, is just like checking up on everyone, making sure everyone's like still high energy. Um, and the guys are like doing really well about that about themselves. Like it's not just on me. Um, Zach does a really good job of checking everyone as well. Amin does a good job. So and Cap takes his timeouts and yells at us when we're being dumb. So, um, yeah, it's just we've just been blessed early as a team, like when we made our we made the roster. So. Thank you. We'll now transition to remote media questions. First question from Raquel Mice Esports. Boa noite. Boa noite. Não sei se é boa noite para vocês aí. Acho que é boa noite, né, Saci? É, Raquel aqui do Mais Esportes, primeiramente, parabéns aí pela vitória. É, queria te perguntar um pouquinho sobre a mudança que vocês fizeram na Bind, de trazer o Gecko na, nas mãos do Tens. E também pergunta para você como foi essa sua estreia aí com vitória, né? Como sendo o brasileiro, o único brasileiro que saiu com vitória. Uhum. Uh, a gente já tinha uma, uma ideia, assim, de trocar a comp quando o Gekka entrou no meta, né, no meio do campeonato do VCT Américas, mas a gente precisava de mais um tempinho, e logo quando acabou o VCT Américas, a gente já tinha planejado já trocar comp e deixar o tens de, de Gekko, e logo quando a gente chegou, já começamos a treinar, sendo sincero, a gente teve acho que umas, uns, uns seis blocos de treino, é, uns seis treinos na Bind, e tá dando certo, eu acho que o Gekka é um boneco muito forte no meta, né, muito time tá usando, e essa foi a nossa estreia. E falando sobre a minha estreia, <risos> bom, o último mapa eu vou deixar... Nem vou comentar muito, mas o primeiro mapa foi muito bom. Eu acho que falando mais de performance, assim, sendo sincero, eu não acredito que o nosso time jogou, sei lá, nem 70% do que a gente sabe ainda. Talvez pode ter sido um pouco de nervosismo por conta da estreia, é, por conta do horário também, né, que tá começando o jogo bem tarde para nós. E... Mas uma coisa que eu fiquei muito feliz, muito orgulhoso, é que a gente conseguiu se manter muito unido, né, a gente não deixou a energia cair. E a gente conseguiu, conseguiu voltar na bind também. E o meu mental no, no 0-10 ali, sem uma kill na bind, eu consegui ficar tranquilo ainda. E eu acho que isso é por conta da minha experiência dentro do, do competitivo também. Obrigada. Next question from Esports Driven. Thank you. Uh, my question is for Zaken. Uh, so, first of all, congrats on the win. I spoke with your personal coach, Kona, today. Um, how does he help you perform at your maximum potential and how important is it for you to have him around? Um, Kona's great. He helps me with a lot of stuff in game and out of game. Um, just kind of like consistency things, not even like in the game, but just more like my lifestyle, like sleep schedule, uh, gym schedule, like eating right, sleeping right, just all that kind of stuff to um, make it so that no matter what, I'm like healthy and uh, good to play. He's, he's really great for that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next question from Strafe Esports. Uh, hi, so my question is for Tens. Uh, first of all, uh, congrats on the win. So your pick on Bind, which was uh, Gecko, certainly raised some eyebrows. Even the coach of Team Heretics said that he felt nice that you guys were taking some risks. So I want to ask, how long has that been in the pocket? And can we expect more of such comps in the, uh, further in the tournament? For sure, um, I mean, we probably wouldn't reveal anything else if we did have some stuff cooking up. And the initial Gecko transition happened after lock-in when we were having some difficulties dealing with certain teams in scrims or even in matches playing Gecko. And so we basically just adapted to the Gecko meta on Bind as we believe it's really strong. 
Thank you. Next question from the Spike. Hi guys, congratulations on the win. My question is for tense. Uh, last time when we had a chat, uh, you uh, said to me that uh, Carmen Coffin was one of the teams that you were most uh, intrigued uh, watching. You will be playing against them. Uh, is it and uh, like uh, do you, do uh, do you guys think that you guys have enough time to uh, counter their strategy, especially on split, as you were mentioning? So looking at Karma and Corp as a team, they're definitely really strong, especially coming as the number one seed from EMEA. So it's going to be a tough match nonetheless. So we can't really uh, slack off. We're going to have to play to our fullest potential to have a chance to beat them. Thank you, Ronaldo. Next question from Cody Go Esports. Oh, uh, my, my question is for Stacy. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, Stacey. Congratulations for your win. Uh, my question is, what mistake uh, the team made and Susan Matt for an uh, uneven defeat? Oh, it's me? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, yeah. I didn't hear. Can you repeat, yes, yes. please? Okay. Uh, what mistake the team made and Susan Matt for an uneven defeat? In third map? In Sunset. Set. Oh, Sunset. Uh, so many, eh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, to be honest, talk about Sunset. We, we got really anti, I guess. Uh, it's, it's a map that we showed a lot during the VST Americas, and it's our comfortable map. And uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll give props to Team Heretics, to be honest. We made a lot of mistakes, for sure, but I think it was a good job from them. Thank you. Uh, hello, guys. Here, Teo from Sons of KS. First of all, congratulations on your win. Uh, I want to ask uh, Tens, you've been in Sentinel since the beginning. What do you think could have happened inside of the organization to allow you to come back to an international event, now win your first game? And this kind of shows you as one of the favorite teams to maybe win Masters this year. I would just say I'm really glad that I have the teammates that I have now. Uh, everyone meshes together together really well, and I think we play like an actual team and feel like a team, and I think that's really important. Um, so I'm just proud of us. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Nerditude. Hi, thank you. My question is for Junkiti. Um, we already know you are going to face Carmine Corp in the next match, but if you could have chosen who to play against, who would you want to play against and why? Uh, I don't really have any preference. Uh, I do want to, I did say before in the, when we qualified that I want to play KC uh, because they were the first seed in Europe and we're the first seed in the Americas. So I think it'll be a good matchup, and I also have a huge fan base, and it's the same for Sentinel. So I think it'll be a great game for uh, all fans of both teams and casuals. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the question. Thank you. Next question from Sports Kita. Um, hello. Uh, am I audible? Hello. 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 Yeah. Uh, my question is for Tens. So the last time we saw you was in, in a Masters event was back in 2021. What would you say are the key differences in you as a player between this version of yourself and the one from 2021 that helped you to qualify for Madrid and even win today's match? I would just say every year or day I was growing as a player and like just certain aspects of my play is a lot better, like my teamwork. Uh, not overheating, flexibility, stuff like that. So it was just a, it was a climb to get back up here. Thank you so much. And I'm definitely looking forward to buying the Send Bundle. <laughs> Thank you. I'll send Bundle. I'll send Bundle. Yes, thanks. Thank you. Next question from Scott Dotty Sports. Thank you. Uh, I have a question for John Cutie. 
Um, I want to ask you what first attracted you to the in-game waiter role. Um, and on the current state of Sentinels, um, based on how you've previously been the IGL for previous teams, how do you do you do you feel you alter your, how you IGL with each new team, or do you sort of expect the players to sort of form around your leadership style? Uh, since I joined my first uh, pro team, uh, which was with the Kaplan, I told him that I want to like down the road, I want to become an IGL. Uh, I think I had what it, I felt like I have what it takes to be a star player, but with time, I felt like Argelian probably has the most, is one of the most impactful roles, and I think I had the skill for it, and I just tried it out, and I think it went well, and we I've had decent success on it, so especially there's there isn't that many IGLs in general in Valorant that's competent, so I just felt like it would be the right move for me. And uh, sorry, what was the second part of your question? Um, the second part was, do you feel that you've had to alter your IGL style slightly, you know, to to fit Sentinels, or do you kind of expect, or have been expecting the players to sort of form around what kind of IGL style you have? Uh, I'd say half half. I definitely brought some stuff that I used to uh, do on my previous previous teams. Uh, a bit of the structure I've had on Emilian Ghost, but also adapted to uh, my teammate's skill since. Uh, my previous teammates and the teammates I have now is very, are very different, and I can't doesn't it's like not one size fit all, and definitely I just had to adapt and like play off my teammates in in some uh, scenarios. Thank you for the question. Thank you. Next question goes to Ichiman. Hi. Um, my question is actually for the coach. Uh, first of anything, I just want to say uh, you guys like to play with our emotions. At the early rounds of the matches, the enemy had the lead, and then out of nowhere you came and with a brutal comeback and then win. And also nailed the coach of Heretics. He mentioned that they were super in, in the series. So I just want to know if there are like any comments on that. Uh, just to clarify, basically, any comments on us coming back from being behind on maps? Is that the question? About what he mentioned, that they were superior in the series. That they were what? Sorry, it's hard superior. to Superior. Oh, superior. They feel they were superior in the series? Yeah. That's what he mentioned, yeah. Well, we won it. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. We're <laughs> the superior team. Um, yeah, no. I, superior trophy. Yeah. Um, usually they team that wins is the superior one. Uh, I, I can understand, though. It's really easy to walk away from a game and be hung up on the mistakes you make uh, as a team, as a coach, and so forth. I think we played really sloppy today and need to clean up a lot of things, and I think it's perfectly reasonable for them to go in confident and feeling like they dropped the ball as well. I mean, I think any team that works hard and is confident is going to feel that way, so I understand where he's coming from. Okay. But Thank you. But we won. So we are the superior. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Buy the Sentinels bundle. Buy the Sentinels bundle. He's going to be eliminated. Next question from Brandon Esports TG. Awesome. Thank you very much. Congrats on the win, guys. Uh, coming in late, so sorry if this has been asked already, but this will be to Zelsis, uh, speaking of the Sentinels bundle. I just want to get your thoughts on kind of what motivates you. I'm sure the answer is probably money, but what motivates you to... Uh, to market the bundle and how many do you actually think you've probably sold at this point i hope enough to get me rich <laughs> um but i mean uh, all seriousness yeah it's nice to like sell the bundle and like we we get a cut of it obviously so it's you know a good a good addition to our our pay or whatever but i think i just think it's cool to have like to be part of an organization that has something in a game like i'm a big i grew up watching like league of legends and stuff like that seeing like their skins and like stuff like that from Riot that did that for their game. Um, so it's just kind of a blessing to be able to do it for this game, which is why I promote it so much. It's also, you know, to help Sentinels. Um, I think esports is kind of in like a really rough time right now and anything to get like the organization revenue or money because they're putting so much into us, like the least we can do is like put it back into them. Um, and I'd like to see more orgs, honestly, do more for their bundle. I think uh, obviously some now are doing it because I'd like to think that I started a trend. Um, I don't need a reward or a fucking, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't need a reward or a trophy or anything like that. I'll eat the fine. I'm sorry, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, I just think it's like wholesome to like have something in the game and be able to like promote it, not only for like 
me and my teammates, but like my organization as well. And like, it's fun for the community to get involved. You know, everyone's spamming by the send bundle, by the fanatic bundle, whatever the case is. So it's just fun. I'm sorry for swearing. <laughs> please don't find him. We need him. Please, please don't find me. I'm sorry. We need him. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, next question from Strafe Esports. Uh, so this question is for the coach. So today's game was actually quite close. So where do you think you could improve or change parts of your game so that for future matchups, especially against uh, Karma and Corp, things don't go like so close? Yeah, um, you're going to uh, see hopefully less fundamentals mistakes from us tomorrow. I think we were, uh, I don't know if it was nerves or exhaustion or anything, probably a combination of them. It's hard to get used to playing on a master stage, and it's not just the stage. It's a different venue. It's different timing of the matches. Obviously, a little bit of jet lag. I think we'll clean up a lot on a basic level. I also think this tournament is pretty heavily about anti because you have a bunch of teams coming in from their kickoff tournaments with very little time to turn around all their maps and strategies. And I think on my end, when we anti teams and have specific plans around that, we can be more detailed in how we plan to execute them. Just make sure we're a little bit more prepared on that. And uh, I think we were in the right direction with some of that, but could have done it cleaner. And that's obviously completely on me. So I think we can all walk away and learn stuff. And I think we're going to be much better tomorrow. I love you, Kaplan. Sorry, coach. We love you. Love you guys. I love you so much. It's not you, it's us. I know. Some of it <laughs> was beats me. Some of it beats me. Next question from Ichiman. Hi, sorry, it's me again. My question is for Celsius. Um, I saw that an outing was used uh, on uh, Americas and Alcin here. So I just want to know, on your perspective, how useful do you think this weapon really is in competitive play? Also, I can play players at such a high level as all of you. What was it? The Aula? The Ar that? An Odin. 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 Oh, the Odin. Um, yeah. I mean, I think the Odin's busted, personally. Um, obviously, it works really well on, like, Ascent, and people are spamming it on Lotus. But I think the Odin's really good. I think it's kind of busted if you, like, play with it a lot. Um, I think people and more teams are like starting to realize that it's pretty good. Um, there's still some kick to it. Like you have to play with it a lot to get used to it, but I think more teams are going to kind of roll around to it and start using it more. Um, I mean, I kind of pulled it out a little bit um, and it feels good to use. It's fun. It's really loud. Um, kind of makes a big noise. So it's exciting. Um, but yeah, I think, I think more teams will slowly start to use Odin. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Next question from Strafe Esports. Sorry for bothering you guys so much. This is uh, the last question from my side. For anyone on the team, as it stands, there's one team from each region in the high round and the low round in the in, in this Swiss bracket. So, what are your thoughts on this, like this split that has happened? Uh, Who wants to take it? I can answer. Yeah, go. I think in general, uh, this tournament is very stacked since this is the first time where every region sent their uh, top two team. And uh, right now, with how the meta is and like the start of the year, every team is very close. And like at the same time, every team is just trying to find out like their identity and like what works on what map. So I think this is one, one of the most open tournament where you can really like go in the tournament and like give a proper top three. I feel like anyone can win if they're just on their day and like feeling it and have have stuff going right for them so i do expect i think i think i wouldn't be surprised if in the semi-final it's like four teams for from four different regions that's how close this tournament is and like in general valorant is very uh it's not very like top heavy everyone can win pretty much okay thank you so much thank you for the question question from the spike gg uh my question is for coach kaplan uh i would like to know uh that uh compared to kc you guys have more um, more number of rounds and uh given that the time period to uh strategize for the next game do you think this will be a sort of disadvantage to you guys uh as you said uh, regarding your sunset that was was not the most played map in america's which got countered today heavily 
Yeah, I mean, it's never ideal. Uh, there's very little uh, turnaround time between our games. There was very little time to prepare for this tournament, and we've shown three maps, and what I believe they've only shown two, right? So uh, more for them to study than we have to study on them. But uh, hard to say how much it matters. At the end of the day, we're both going to be watching each other a ton in the next 12 hours, I'm sure. Are there any other questions in the room? Hello. Uh, the first is for Kaplan. It's about uh, combat, no? Because you need to uh, make the combat in the first map and the third map. And the question is, uh, uh, what do you think? What do you think that is the um, reason? Because the thing is, uh, start the map, the maps more weak, no? Or need to make the combat. And especially, what are you uh, speaking in the timeouts uh, between the two sides? Uh, to um, to change the uh, the mind of the team. Yeah, I think we started really cold and just weren't playing at all like ourselves on Lotus. And we've had a lot of comebacks and we've played a lot of matches in the last six months. And I think the guys have really done a good job learning how much they can control their atmosphere. And you know, they obviously have a really good idea of what playing at their best sounds and feels like. So. I just told them at half on Lotus, hey, we're playing awful right now, and that's a great thing because it means it's going to be really easy to step up from here. And, you know, as long as we just start playing our game, that score means nothing up there. And it's always the same thing. Like, the only thing you can do is play the best Valorant that's in front of you, whether that's the next half, the next map, the next match. That never changes, no matter how much you're winning and losing. And I think the guys really do an incredible job understanding that, and credit to them. You know, they're the ones that understand that and then actually get the ball rolling and make it happen. And every single player on this team has done an incredible job at taking responsibility and understanding it's not, you know, just the IGL's team, it's not just the coach's team, it's everyone's team, and everyone can push the needle in the right direction. And I think, uh, you know, Lotus was about that. I think Bind was some of that, and some of just that was a hard game. And, we, you know, we were the team that won barely at the end of the day. So... Depends on what's going on map to map, but yeah. Thank you. Um, for a second, I have a question. Is that in your Twitter you said that uh, you are some disappointed with your performance? But really, for me and in the stats, uh, I think that you have an incredible performance. Uh, therefore, the question is, what is your opinion about uh, in what do you need to uh, improve or why do you say it is not? Um, well, I killed my teammates twice, so that's probably an easy Let's one. Go. To get it about me. Uh, I think in general, um, it was just like first match nerves type of things, but I think I can be a way better player than I was today, even though I did play well. I just think I can be way better than that. That's, uh, I don't think there's anything like in specific that I can really say, but I just think I can be better than how I performed today. I love you, Zach. Thanks for dropping 30 on the third love map. You, I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, wait, that's actually how we came back on by. If you had to ult me to win, do it again. Okay. I have a question for the second and then for everyone, but second if you want. It's because uh, we can see your family in the in the stage supporting you, no, and the family of other players I see, no. Uh, a lot of people cheering in the in the stadium. It's very important because you are playing uh, versus the local team and you was uh, supporters uh, uh, sadly, no. And the question for you or for who wants is um how much important have the supporting of your family in your career, no? Uh, as player. Zach, you want to go first? I'll go first. Um, for me, it's an incredible feeling just to be able to see my mom and grandma in the crowd. Um, obviously, the crowd is the home crowd was kind of for uh, heretics today, but just being able to see my mom and grandma and wave to them, and I can even hear them sometimes, like coming up and down from the stage, it it makes like the rest of the crowd just kind of go away. It just makes me so happy to see them there, and it's a it's a great feeling. I'd say on my side, um, this is actually the, the first tournament I've ever had any family come to support me in person. Normally they're at home watching on the TV. So it's really nice to, to see family just cheering me on. Uh, my mom was really loud. I heard her like the entire time. And overall, it was just really pleasant and nice to know that I have some super fans. So. <laughs> yeah, Tugs! Yeah, Tugs! Hi, son! 
Eh, thank you. And the last is uh, someone know what bottle can I buy? The Sentinel's bundle. The Sentinel's bundle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Nerditude. Hi, thank you. My question is for Celsius. Besides the Sentinels bundle, which other one do you think looks cool? Sentinels only. <laughs> Sentinels bundle only. Um, no, I think a lot of the, I think all the bundles have like their own like niche things to them. I don't think there's like a, a bad bundle. Um, I think every org is like unique in their own way. Um, obviously, I'm only going to promote the Sentinels bundle, but I mean, every, I think every team got like, you know, really good bundles, really good classics, player cards, stuff like that. And uh, I just hope like the community and the fans enjoy, even the casuals who maybe don't watch esports enjoy like the player cards, classics, buddies, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yo, don't hate Thank me, you. but I like the Lev one too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Thanks. The Lev one is cool. Can we take, his... can we take yeah, him out? Just, yeah, 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 yeah we can. Him off. He can we go back to Jet? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 16 year old. That's the 10's Jet. <laughs> Why 10's not on Jet? You're gonna place Kayomba. <laughs> thank you so much thank you thank you and final question from scott dotty sports thank you uh this is a question for coach kaplan um obviously the highlight of that last map was putting tens on gecko which i believe is his first time at least in bct play this year um i wanted to ask um how you know what about that combination appealed to you when you were first you know cooking up strats and when you do cook up strats do you think more in the lines of what are my player strengths and what agents suit those? Or are you thinking we need to have this agent in the comp and which player can suit that the best? Yeah, it's uh, always a complicated balance to strike. In the case of Bind, I think we leaned more into the direction of thinking Gecko's just incredibly strong right now and liking that comp and thinking, all right, well, in this case, somebody has to play Gecko. I think Tyson's a really creative player and he picks up agents very quickly because he likes to experiment and try things. And I think it stimulates him. And also that agent's alt is unreal right now. So when you have a player fragging, just he had alt on, I think, what, third round there on our defense maybe. So, uh, yeah, that, that's definitely part of it. And then part of it is you have to think about the players, obviously, right, and strike a balance. So, um, you know, part of it is, hey, these strats make a lot of sense with this comp that makes a lot of sense. And then other parts are these strats will fit the player that's playing the agent, right? Uh, maybe you need to find a way to compliment the player if they're going to pick up the agent. And obviously the players deserve a lot of credit there too. They come up with ideas when they're playing um, and that ends up having a huge role in how a comp ends up being played. Thank you. All right. Final, final question. Sorry. Um, for Tens or for who wants answer, um, what is your opinion about uh, Minibu? He seems uh, one of the biggest promises in MF. You can answer. Mini who? Mini boo. Oh, <laughs> mini boo. Oh, no, no. Uh, no I, I'm trolling. Sorry. You, you can answer, Tyson. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's so troll. Uh, I, like, the first impressions, uh, he's such a young player, and it's refreshing to see new talent enter the scene. And he was he was shooting really well. Uh, neon utilization was super on point. Like whenever I was getting owned, half the time I was stunned. So I I'd just say like really really impressed with his performance. The only funny thing is uh before he said he will show us where the Madrid airport is at. So he also made a bet with me that he has to buy the Sentinels bundle now because they lost. Yeah. Hold him to that. Yeah. He played well. He, he, he did play well, though, yeah. All seriousness. I just turned him on Lotus. What happened on Bind, bro? <laughs> <laughs> on Bind? Everyone is turning me. <laughs> just stop. Just stop. stop. Now he needs to buy the same bundle. Now buy the same bundle. Buy the same bundle. Buy the same bundle. <laughs> final, final, final question. <laughs> no, that was it. Uh, thank you so oh, much. Congratulations you. Thank you on your victory. And um, maybe I'll buy a send bundle. You should. This. You really should. It's like probably the best one ever. Thank you. Buy and tag us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.